Hello everyone, Dan Iverson with Blaze Outdoor Products. Uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the faceplate off of this Blaze 4 LTE. Uh, this is going to be the same uh, set of instructions as well for the traditional line and somewhat for the Pro as well. The Pro is going to be just a little bit different, uh, but definitely for the LTE lines and the traditional lines. And uh, once you remove this faceplate, you're going to be able to access uh, the back of these switches, just in case you have to change the switch out, and also uh, the burner valves, if you need to swap out a burner valve for whatever reason, maybe an ignite or something like that. So let me go ahead and show you the process. So first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna remove all of the knobs, and the knobs actually just pull right off of here. And you can look and see that on each side of the knob, you're actually gonna have two Phillips heads screws so i got my phillips head screwdriver and we're going to remove these these actually are the bezels for the knobs so removing these screws remove the bezels but also what you can't see is these screws go into the valves as well and hold the valves in place there's two per bezel you just want to be very careful and not strip the screw heads. Be sure that you don't lose these items because we don't send extra with the grill. If for some reason you do lose them, you can contact Blaze and we can send you a couple of spare parts. So you're gonna have one of these bezels for each one of your valves. Uh, of course, this four burner has an extra valve on it for the rear sear burner. Five burner is gonna have actually six valves on it. So on and so on. Once we have all of the bezels removed, we can actually move on to the next step here. So we've got all the bezels removed from the faceplate. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up. Uh, if you have a cart model, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a little screw right here. If you pull the grate up, you'll see the screw right here in the side. And what that does is it actually holds the grill head to the cart. You're gonna have one on each side. I removed the other one from the other side just so we can kind of move forward a little bit faster during this video. And you can see where I removed this screw here that holds it to the cart. You're gonna have one on the other side as well. All right, and the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this grill out just slightly. What I usually do is I just stick my foot right under the cart, hold it in place, and slide this grill out just slightly. But what you wanna do is you wanna pull it out far enough you want to pull it out far enough to where you expose this screw here and this screw here. These are the side screws on the face plate that actually hold it in place. And you're going to have those on each side. Also, if you step around to the other side here, as I pull this grill out, you can actually see this plaque on the side. This plaque here is actually going to be where your serial number exists and then all of the information for your orifices. So if for some reason you need serial number for your grill, and uh, we ask you to look at your grill on your traditionals and your LTEs, they're gonna be on the left-hand side or the far end of the grill right here in the corner. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two screws on the end cap. Usually what I like to do is just leave one just barely in place, do the same on the other side. You leave one screw just barely in place on each side until you're ready to remove the face plate. That way it doesn't drop. And 
All right, now I have both of those removed. I'm gonna remove this final one here that's just holding it in place. And also, if you haven't removed the drip tray, it will kind of hold that in place for you a little bit and keep it from dropping too far. And now, that face plate just removes. And what you'll do here, as you can see where all of your wiring is, you have some plugs here that you can just unplug this wiring. Or you can disconnect your wiring right here. And so what we're going to do is in my next segment, I'm going to kind of show you uh, what to do to change these switches out. And then on the next segment, I'm actually going to show you uh, how to uh, reinstall or install a new valve. And of course, when you put all this back together, you're just going to go in reverse order. You're going to set the two screws on the side in first. Then you're going to start setting your bezels. You don't want to tighten everything uh, up first. You're going to want to leave everything loose. And then once you get everything into place, go ahead and tighten it back up. So until our next segment, Dan Iverson with Plays Outdoor Products, go Blades.